In this video, we'll explain how to calculate the Greenwich Hour Angle, abbreviated GHA, on the site reduction form. Remember, the surface of our planet is the terrestrial sphere, while we imagine all celestial bodies to be in the celestial sphere. The Greenwich Meridian is a longitude line set in England. There is also a longitude coordinate for the observer. Each celestial body has a longitude line in the celestial sphere that corresponds to a longitude line on the terrestrial sphere. If we were to look down on the terrestrial sphere from the North Pole, these longitude lines would look like this. Greenwich hour angle is the angle between the meridian of the celestial body and the Greenwich meridian. With the rotation of the Earth, the meridian of every celestial body moves 15 degrees for each hour, hence the term hour angle. To find the GHA of a celestial body, we first look up our tabulated GHA in the daily pages of the Nautical Almanac. In our example, the date was December 25, so we go to that date in our daily pages. Remember, in our example, we took our measurement of the Sun at 13 hours, 35 minutes, and 9 seconds. We look up our tabulated GHA. Notice that the time is listed in hours only. Later, we'll calculate a correction due to the minutes and seconds, but for now we ignore them. For our example, we go to the 25th day of December at 1300 hours and we see a value of 14 degrees and 59.2 arc minutes. We note this on our site reduction form. Now, we need to account for minutes and seconds, so we turn to the yellow pages of the Nautical Almanac towards the back of the book, labeled increments and corrections. In our example, our minutes were 35 and 9 seconds, so we turn to the page for 35 minutes, go down the table to 9 seconds, and note our GHA increment on the site reduction form. In this example, we see this is 8 degrees and 47.3 arc minutes. We note this on the site reduction form. SHA refers to star hour angle, used only for stars, while V correction is used for the moon and planets. These are beyond the scope of this course and do not apply for the sun, so we note NA on our site reduction form. Now we calculate our total GHA by simply summing these three terms, remembering to subtract any terms with a negative value. In our example, this gives us a total of 23 degrees and 46.5 arc minutes. This concludes our video on GHA. To test your understanding of what we covered in this video, click on this link. It'll take you to a few questions designed to help you remember these concepts. Once you are comfortable with this material, you can move on to our next video on local hour angle by clicking on this link.